Hello everybody, Grandpa Adler Farms. Before we go down and do our chores with the animals and feed them, uh, it's a little too early for that. So I got something I need to do out here in the garden area. Something I've been putting off doing. But uh, today I, I'm, I just made my mind up how, where, where I'm going to do it. So let's we're going to go get that done. Y'all can follow me along here. Uh, if you're new to this channel, this is our where we had our garden area, our raised bed garden and it turned out really really well being we're the first time gardeners and we learned a whole bunch one of the things we learned that this soil was way too hard so we got it that's why i'm doing compost um it's just you know it's hard as a rock i mean it's great probably for growing grass but not for growing growing crops but we did have some good things come out of this if you watch my last video a couple of videos ago you know, I went out on the uh, the elusive cow, fresh cow patty hunt, which turns out I didn't need the uh, fresh cow pies. I needed the dry ones. So I got a couple of buckets full, and I put them in here already. I dumped them right here, and I'm going to spread all this out eventually. But I dumped them here, and I know they'll take a lot more, but I dumped them in here. As opposed to taking them down and putting them in the compost area down where the uh, animals are, um, I'm going to put them in here, and I think they'll dry out just as well here, probably more so than they will there, because they have a lot more sun. I think between now and next year, you know, we'll uh, these will be ready to go and won't be too hot. I know the book says eight months, could be a year, but honestly, I think with all the moisture we'll get around here, I think it'll be all right. It is a windy, fallish type day today. The temperatures are fantastic. I think it's like 82 or 83. It's really, really nice out here, but... Yeah, hopefully I uh, just had to forgive me for the wind. Job must go on. All right, so anyhow, we still got some peppers. You see there, got a few peppers going. They got a purple one right there. Uh, still got tomatoes. One of the subscribers gave us still. Got some Siberian tomatoes and some zebra type, zebra striped tomatoes. We got their little chocolate pear tomatoes. I, I pulled off a, shoot, there's red ones in there now. I got to get those tonight. Look at there. Isn't that neat looking? It was red and they're pretty old and they're so good. It's called the uh, chocolate pear tomatoes. I wish they taste like chocolate, but they don't. But they are good as far as tomatoes go. So. Those were Grandma's daylilies. And she did give me permission to mow them down. We've had them for years and years. I always mow them down. They'll come back up just as strong next year. So I had to get those down. It's looking pretty, pretty ratty. But So that's our little garden area. Uh, some of the issues we had, you know, with it. In particular, we have a we have a family of uh, groundhogs living around here. And those little rascals dug under here. As you can see, I put the rocks and the bricks, which I do not like to do that. I'm not going to continue to shore this up with rocks, so we got to do something. But they dug under here and they, they ate my green beans down. And my green they're kind of, the green beans are still kind of growing, <laughs> poor little things. But they were coming in here and eating those down. So I'm gonna somebody suggested taking fence fencing and put underneath there on the bottom to where they can't dig down make a barrier and that's what i'm going to do because i'll be honest with you i ain't gonna trap them i had these things in my head i'll get a live trap i'll trap them i'll you know dispatch them do whatever not me not happening so i'm going to do that and i'll just try to prevent them that way from coming in but the thing i really want to show you here after giving you all that information one of the big things is we got six blackberry plants. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. And I put them out here. It's been, oh, I don't know, a month and a half ago or so. And they had all this nice, they had all these nice green leaves coming up on here. And I really figured because, you know, I thought at the time the deer would leave them alone because we were feeding deer corn and so forth. But no something and i'm I suppose it's deer came back here they ate all the leaves off well at the time i said well i'll come out here and put fence around them and i didn't do it i procrastinated so they grew back the leaves came back i watered them and i thought oh man good they're gonna leave them alone oh man you guess what i came back out to, oh, two or three days ago and they'd eaten all the leaves off again so I, I thought, you know what, I'm not going to lose these blackberries. Um, so I'm going to take some welded wire and I'm just going to make a fence around each one of them individually. 
and I'm going to see if they leave them alone. I mean, this is kind of trial and error, uh, you know, and so hopefully that's, hopefully that's going to work. I'm not going to build some elaborate fence all the way around or electric wire or all that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to do. So let's do that first. And uh, that shouldn't take too long. I'll put the fence up. I'm not going to zip tie it right now, but uh, I'll do that. I'll do that a little later. But that's just something I thought, you know, kind of keep you all up to date. What I did, I took some welded wire, made a practice run, and came up with this. I put it around here. There's a little plant right there. Because I had the dirt mounted up, I don't have to dig down. I don't have to put any T-posts in there. I don't even think I'm going to have to do any tie wrapping with zip ties because I left a little uh, bit of wire and I just snapped them right here. So that is, I think if you, hopefully you can see that that's pretty secure. Now, yes, it does stick out a little bit here. Uh, I'm Maybe I'll have to kind of tie those things up so that they don't uh, grow out enough to where they can get them when they come out of the, the, the fencing. But I'm hoping when they come up to this, just, just the... Uh, fence alone that they will leave things as they are uh, We'll we'll see what I will do then if they snip this off out here I've got a bunch of chicken wire and I'll put chicken wire around there And that'll keep those uh, keep them from coming in. So we'll we'll go. Uh, we'll go that route. So let's uh, Let's do another one when you're working with me trial and error first time Then all I do here is I just bend the uh, bend that wire like so. Then, on, then I don't have to use a bunch of zip ties. There, is, there are no instructions to this uh, method, by the way. Not written down. They're all in my head, and you'll never find them there. I just take this and turn it. And then that right there is very sturdy. Let me know what you think about my blackberry protectors. I, I do think I'm going to end up with chicken wire, so let me know what you think. Enough time has passed between uh, doing our little project there that I believe we can go on down now and make our afternoon, get our, get our after, we can go on down now and get our afternoon chores done. I'm going to take some pig food down here. Got me a little hay. Hopefully the wind noise will be way down now because we're into the trees. They're all hollering. They know what time it is. I'm coming. You were the star of the show last time. Yeah, I was. Woo. Good girl. Little Batman. Oh, look at Magneto. He is right there. Man, are you messing? He is messing with these. That's his, those are his kids. He's over here right up against that. Man, I wish I'd caught that earlier. Magneto, what are you doing? Teasing them because they can't get out. <laughs> hey boys, start a little here. And Batman's I've been putting here, buddy. I've been putting his on that stump. How's that? Better? Are you gonna make it now? Can you make it now? Yeah. You're gonna live. Ooh, Grandpa, we're gonna live. Oh, I didn't know what we were gonna do. Starving to death. Yeah, look at that. Oh, you're starving all right. Yeah. I don't think anybody here is hurting too bad. Now Magneto is there. Smokey is there. She don't mess with him. And vice versa. They have this mutual respect. I'm not sure because she always knows Magneto can go high. If he has to, he'll go up. Hello, hon. Ready for your afternoon snack. Did you eat everything? Not just about. Cleaned your plate pretty good. That's pretty good. Hi, girls. I'm not even going to ask you if you're hungry. That never ends. Well, you're drooling. Cause it's, I, man. Here, Tola. Right here, bud. You go right there. A little here. A little there. A little here. A little there. How are we? Is that good? I don't see no horse lies. Yep. I miss Lola. Let's see, you're either gray or 
or sassy? One of the two. I'd say sassy. You're not very gray. Hey, buddy. Let's dump this out and start over. Hang on. Hang on. Come here. Can I pet you? Oh, that's close. That's close. Hang on. Let's uh, put her in there. Get it. Oh, yeah. As you can see right here, they're wallows. Go dry pretty fast. Just didn't hold water like the one over here where Pawn is, so. We'll fill this up. It'll run over there to that one where, I'm, where I've got the hose. And when Lola lays over there, she pretty much disperses any kind of water that's left, but uh, it'll last them for a little while. Let's throw a little bit of scratch in here. Okay. We'll get them some water in a little bit. I always do, you know, for me, it's easier to do the feed first. Like so. Oh, there we go. Is everybody hungry? I'm not really getting this right here, what Magneto's up to. But watch, look. Now, see, he knows. All he has to do is fly up and get out of here. Smokey's right there. They have this weird relation. I see Smokey comes over and gets a drink, but Magneto does not care. I know he's ready to go up, but if that was any other bird, Smokey would be all over it. But there's something, some kind of a mutual respect right there for, for one another, I guess. That's what you want to call it. Pretty funny. All right, we'll give these boys a little scratch here. Need some scratch? Mm -hmm. That's fresh. Right, we'll just leave it that this afternoon. How's that? Big old dessert. All right, I'm coming. Coming. Hang on. We'll see, B. Back up. Everybody back up. Right? Wherever you are, sassy. One or two. All right. Here we go. Come on. Nothing in there. They don't lay in there much. Here we go. Get that right there. Here, now you get that in there. You can get that. There the girl. Lay something. Is there a turkey egg back there? No. No eggs in there. Anything back there? No. Oh, Smokey, I feel. Where are you going? What? Hey, Red. All right, I'll get some, I'll come back with some water and we'll look for bugs. <laughs> Still got that puppy in you. Still got the puppy in you, don't we? Yes. Still got that puppy in us, Grandpa. Yep, just want to be in our lap. The Magneto over there in the coop area. I haven't seen him in there in a long, long time. That's good to see. Maybe he's staying in there at night now, which would be really, that'd be awesome. Magneto just went in the coop so maybe they're going in at night that would be awesome now that that guinea's out of there and everything kind of back to normal that'd be a good deal here we go weird birds I like that water just muddy water Okay. 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 Down. You can get down. You went down. I'm going to check in here for 
cracked eggs, but if I'm not mistaken, wasn't Magneto in here? Let's see if he's still in here. Or another chicken or something. Hang on. Oh, look. Okay, I don't see Magneto, but there's one of them sitting right there. Laying an egg right there, so... And I will let her be. Smoke, you probably, since you had an egg this morning, that's going to be it. Stinker? That's it. <laughs> you can't eat that. You can't eat that. You can. You don't need that goat food. You know what? All right, let me have that bucket. Bub. Get them some fresh hay while they're all out. Get them fresh hay and then... I have to go water up the rest of the chickens. All right. I read up that a goat can eat four or five pounds of hay in a day. And I don't know if it's for these Nigerian goats or not, little dwarf goats, but it's quite a bit, and it says it's really good for them. They can eat just about as much. They can eat just about as much as they want. I don't know if they're sharpening their horns or just scratching. <laughs> just scratching, I guess. They're a hoot. Oh, Smokey. She likes to play with the buckets. All right, Smoke, we gotta take some water down to the other chickens. Let's get that done. Get some bugs. Here we go. Here's one, get it. Nice. Good job, you got that figured out, don't you? Sure enough. For the other one, here, come here. You better get over here. Get ready. Go. Anything under there? Bug hunting. Batman. Hey, buddy. Who are you? Yeah, that's big. That's big. Oh, look out. You're fast. Okay. Grandpa's coming in now. I'm going to get some uh, my compost. Now, this is how we get our goat poo. Batman, he decided he's going to get up there, but Buddy, you're going to have to stay up here and move. Don't knock my camera down here. Go on. Go on. Yep, yeah, there you go. Stay out there. There we go. As you can see up here on top, maybe up there. Maybe up here and use the restroom. Works out pretty good if you want to use it for compost and get it, get it collected. So. Take my broom and my trash can lid.
Thank you for your contribution. So I come over here, dump it right there. Chickens will scratch it up, and then I'll then I'll dump it over there. Put that in our pile. Eventually I'll scoop it in there. There we go. Coming down and getting them all fed is, and watered is a little hectic. So if it's nice like this, not too hot, I like to take a couple minutes and after everybody's been fed and watered and just sit here for a second, the, there's an awesome breeze, it's shady, not too hot, and I'm surrounded by some of my best friends, EPW, hey buddy, gotcha, Smokey, she's out there, here she comes. I think I'll just leave that now. I won't leave it. He'll eat it. He's playing with that sack. I got a plan to put something right here in this area. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but that's my next thing. Hey, buddy. P dub. Chad calls you P dub. Yeah. Chad had mentioned that he may sell this guy, but he's changed his mind. And I'm really glad. So he'll ban him. And then we'll keep all three of them because they're all doing really good, getting along with Smokey. And <laughs> you aren't that right. Ain't that right? Yes, that's right. All right, guys. Guess what? I got to go feed Miss Wilma before we're done. Yep. You all did good. You did good. You did really good. On the way down here to go get Wilma's marshmallows, take them to her and give her food and water. A couple of the comments, somebody asked, and, and we've, I thought about this too, on the chicken pens, uh, that wire will not be enough to hold if it's a heavy snow. It will work for the rain, I think it'll run off. But we're either gonna get, I even thought about getting like one by, or one and a half inch PVC pipe to run across, but probably uh, two befores would be better. We could run them horizontal across the top or vertical. Uh, you know, now we could notch out a two before at the top and, and embrace the roof. So that is that is in the works. Thank you for the, thank you for that too. That's something I just kind of failed to mention. Teenage chicken coop. There are no uh, sticks to go for they they roost on like we put in the uh, other uh, chicken pens. And you're right, we are going to do that. Uh, I you know that something just didn't come to mind. Uh, but there are four roosting sticks inside that little coop. Now, whether they all go in there at night or not, I don't know. I know they do get up on the roof and they do make a mess. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get a couple of sticks and I'll run uh, across the corners and, you know, that might help. I don't know. But there are four when that coop, when we built it, there are four roosting sticks in there. Uh, the only way to tell if they're roosting there at night would be to put a camera in. I'm probably not going to do that just to find out. Miss Wilma, somebody wanted to know why you're the only piggy that gets marshmallows. Do you know why? Do you want to tell them or should I? The only reason Wilma gets marshmallows, I tried marshmallows with the others. I didn't need them. Now maybe I'll try it again. I don't know. But for right now, that's why I do it. So that's why Miss Wilma gets marshmallows. Here, you want your marshmallows? 
Look at there. See that? So you, you tell them, you tell them you're special, Wilma. Tell them you're special. Yes. We love our animals. We love them all, but Miss Wilma. Yep. Yeah. Special. Some of you said last time that the, her uh, walla was shaped like a heart. And I'm reading the comments in my, at home in my chair and I'm thinking, a heart like a Valentine heart. But no, look, check this out. It is shaped actually like a real heart. It's like the ventricles going up that way, arteries, and then the, the, then the big heart muscle itself. So yeah, that's just special for Wilma. Big heart. And if you're new here, why do we do this? Well, we don't have a water source down here. And so we uh, bring five gallon buckets down. I got like six of those. We fill them up. It works great. We do not have to go see the beefy boys tonight. We got plenty of water. Chad gives them the cubes in the morning. We try not to give them cubes twice a day. They don't really need it. They got plenty to eat out there. So even as dried as it is, there's a lot of shade and they're just chowing down. In fact, they're out there now in the, in the middle of the acreage eating. So I don't call them up here. So we'll uh, let them be tonight. Grandma just got home and she's got my dinner. Maybe she'll talk to us. Let's go see. We, we had so much fun last time wrapping it up together we thought we'd do it again out here on the front porch and we had a we wanted to show this uh, one of our subscribe subscribers heather painted these by hand uh, as you know uh, leanne has some prized daylilies that she's been growing good grief how long have we had those 30 years year, 30 years i don't know ever since your mom 25 20 i don't know 10 don't know. two we've had them for about a week so uh, no, we've had them for a long time. Her mom got them back in the day and passed them on down to us. But Heather saw them and painted, and painted these on a card. And that is that is beautiful. She did a great job. I don't know how close I can get those up there. She did that for us. And that is Heather, one of our subscribers. I wanted to tell you, Heather, thank you very much. So that was very, very nice of you to do that. I'm sure that took some time, and I think she does that quite often. So that was... Uh, in, in, as a hobby, so that was really nice. You feel that? You feel I that breeze? I feel it. It's nice. I know. <laughs> I can smell the food in there. So we're going to grab something deep. So that's all I got for today, and then we'll uh, follow up. Uh, I start rambling, don't I? You do. I just you just need ramp, to go I, right into. Until I know ramble. Time. Well, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> appreciate you. We do thank you. We do appreciate you, and we will. See you next time. <laughs> That's not right. You messed it up. It's <laughs> so until next time. Grandma, Grandpa.